Welcome to Duke basketball season and what's expected to be Paulo Bancaro's lone run through college basketball before he heads to the NBA. I'm Steve Wiseman from the News and Observer and Herald Sun, and here is why Bancaro is such an important player for the Blue Devils this season. At 6 foot 10 and 250 pounds, Bancaro is built like a back to the basket center, but he has ball handling and passing skills like a guard. He can lead a fast break, spot up for a three pointer, or use a power move to score, and he'll help protect the lane on defense. ESPN's Jay Billis told me Bancaro could be Duke's most skilled big man since Danny Ferry back in the late 80s. And Billis should know he was Ferry's teammate for one season. Tuesday's season opening game with Kentucky will tell us how well Bancaro is prepared to face top 10 talent. Everything we've seen and heard so far says Bancaro will be a major force as Duke chases an NCAA championship in Coach K's final season. For the News and Observer, I'm Steve Weisman. Hi, this is C.L. Brown with the News and Observer, and here's why Caleb Love is going to be North Carolina's player to watch this season. Flashback with me, if you will, to Carolina's win at Duke last season. Caleb Love had a career-high 25 points and added seven assists. We're going to see a lot more performances from him this year that are more like that one. The main reason why is the offensive spacing. Hubert Davis has stacked a lot of perimeter threats on this roster. Caleb is going to be surrounded by shooters. He's also tweaking the system to where it's going to be four out and one in, which is going to open up lanes for Caleb to drive that he didn't really have last year. That's why Hubert Davis expect him to be among the ACC leaders in free throw attempts because he is anticipating Caleb is going to get fouled a lot this year. Lastly, Caleb was a top 15 recruit in the class of 2020. And he's out to remind people why this season. NC State Center Manny Bates is due for a breakout year because he's going to be the, the man in the post this year for the Wolfpack. Uh, DJ Funderburg is gone, so if NC State wants to run his offense inside out, it's going to have to start with Bates. His previous two years, he's been known as a defensive stopper, one of the best shot blockers in college basketball. But head coach Kevin Keats and Bates himself have raved about how his offense has improved in the offseason. We'll get to see that this year because Manny Bates should be the focal point of the NC State offense. There are plenty of guards around him to kind of hit shots from the perimeter and draw the defense away from the post. But they're going to have to run some plays with Bates. I expect them to do that as opposed to him being a guy who scored on pit back dunks and, and layups around the basket. They're going to actually run sets with Bates, and I think that's why he'll have a breakout year for the Wolfpack.